According to this problem, we are having process ID P1, P2, P3, P4, CPU burst time 3 seconds, 5 seconds, 8 seconds and 2 seconds and here we are having arrival time also. Okay, at the time 0, 1 process P1 is coming, at the time 2, 2 processes are coming P2 and P3, at the time 3, 4th process is coming P4. Okay, so we may have that Q also. Actually, this Q is as I told not actual Q data structure, it is normal ready Q from that CPU will select the process. Okay. At the same time, we will go for gunshot also. Zero. Okay, listen carefully. We are going to discuss non preemptive. Non preemptive means current process will not get suspended. That means once it enters into the CPU, it will complete, then only it will come out. Okay. Now, at the time 0, how many jobs are there in the ready queue? Only one job. So, that will go automatically into the CPU. So, as far as non preemptive is considered, P1 will definitely complete its work. Okay, by default. So, P1 burst time is 3. So, until 3 seconds, no other process will interrupt P1. That is non preemptive. Okay. Now, after 3 seconds, how many processes are there? 3 processes are there. P2, P3 and P4. Among these 3, what is the smallest job? That will be taken by the C. Okay, after 3 seconds, 3 jobs are there, P2, P3 and P4. Among these 3 jobs, P2 is the smallest job, so sorry, P4 is the smallest job, so P4 will enter into the CPU. So once it enters into the CPU, definitely it will work for 2 seconds, so it will come out after 5 seconds only. Okay, P2, P4 has completed. Now, among these 2, this is the smallest. So, P2 will enter, execute for 5 seconds, that is 10. Finally, P3 will enter, will execute for 8 seconds. So, total 8. Okay. So, now you know how to calculate the waiting time and the turnaround time. Same formula, same logic you have to follow. Okay, nothing new. I hope you understand this. Shortest job first with the preempt, with the, sorry, with the non preempt. Okay, shortest job first with the non preemptive and with the arrival time also. Now let us consider same concept with the preemptive. Okay, what will happen when we are looking after preemptive method? Okay. Preemptive means what? Shortest job first with the preemptive. Current process will get suspended by any other new process. According to our concept, what is the topic? Shortest job first. So what does it mean? When current process is executing in the CPU, if any new jobs arrives whose CPU time is lesser than the current job, then current job will be suspended and this new job will enter into the CPU. Okay, if during execution of a particular process, if any new job is coming whose CPU burst time is smaller than the existing process, Surely, existing process will get suspended and the new process will enter into the CPU. Let us see using gun chart. Again, same concept we are going to discuss. At the time 0, how many jobs are there? At time 0, how many jobs are there? Only one job is there. So, even though it is having biggest CPU burst time, at the time 0, there is no other job. So, by default, P1 will enter. Remember, in non preemptive, P1 will complete surely without any interference. But the preemptive, for each and every second, we have to monitor the ready queue. Okay. P1 will executing for 1 second. So, left cover is 7. Now, CP is going and seeing ready queue. After 1 second, how many jobs are there? Still, P1 only is there. So, P1 will execute for 1 more second, 2. So, left over is 6. Now, after 2 seconds, how many jobs are there? Now, P1, P2, P3. P1, left over CPU burst time is 6. P2, total CPU burst time is 5. P3, total left, um, burst, CPU burst time is 3. Among these 3, now what process will enter? 
smallest process will enter. So what does it mean? V1 is getting suspended and moved to weight Q and P3 will enter into the CPU because P3 is the smallest system. So P3 will execute for 1 second for example 3. Okay, so left over is 2 here. Now after 3 seconds how many jobs are there? V1 not yet completed, P2 is still in waiting queue, P3 is in execution, P4 is new arrival. But see P4's CPU burst time is 1 which is smaller than 2. So P3 will get suspended and that will be moved to wait queue. Now P4 will enter into the same. Okay, P4 will be executing for 1 second. So for P4 CPU burst time itself 1 second. So P4 will complete its work. Okay, now no more new job, only three jobs, P1, P2, P3 and their CPU burst time is there. Now you can assume there is no any new process, so no preemption will happen, it will continue as it is. Okay, now P3 is the smallest job among these two, so P3 will execute for another two seconds, so total of six. P3 will complete, then among P1 and P2, P2 is five. Smallest, so P2 will enter, it will execute for 5 seconds, that is 11. Finally, P1 will enter, that will execute for 6 seconds, total of 70. Okay, hope you understand the concept. So, what is preemption? Current process will get suspended if any new process with the lowest CPU burst time arrives at the ready queue, current process will suspend. Okay, at any given time, CPU will see that smallest job is executing first. As usual, you can go for waiting time as well as turnaround time. Okay, one small example, let us go through waiting time first. You know the formula for waiting time. Waiting time equal to completion time minus arrival time plus CPU burst time. Okay, what is for process P1? Last appearance, as I call last appearance, P1 17 minus arrival time for P1 is 0 plus burst time is 8. So 17 minus 8 is 9. P2 last appearance 11 minus arrival time is 2 plus burst time is 5. So 11 minus 7, so 4. P3 Completion time last appearance 6 minus arrival time is 2 plus burst time is 3. So 2 plus 3, 5, 6 minus 5 is 1. P4 completion time is 4 minus arrival time is 3 plus CPU burst time is 3 equal to 0. So listen carefully. Listen carefully, even though P4 came into the queue as last process, that process waiting time is 0. Okay, even though P4 came as a last process in the queue. See, first at time 0, only P1 is there. After 2 seconds, P1 is there. It is coming only 3rd second, even though P4's waiting time becomes 0. Why? Because P4 is the smallest job. Okay, paper is the process with the smallest CPU burst time. So our topic is shortest job first. So that is given priority and for that its waiting time is equal to same. Okay, I think you can go for turnaround time also as usual for Okay.